Welcome to Bon Jovi Discussions. This morning, I have my buddy Kevin. How are you? Uh, I'm good. I'm happy to be back. You know, and it's happy, been a while. Yeah, you know, it's Saturday, but it's been a while. <laughs> and you're rocking the forever jacket. Bon Jovi forever, man. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just have the episode that we'll just have you turned around and we can just look at the jacket the entire time. Mm-hmm. It was a joke, stupid joke. <laughs> anyway, so let's get into our topic. We are going to talk about the David Bryan show that we got to see over the weekend. Man, I've okay. said for the last forever that I was hoping that we'd get a, a David Bryan solo show one day, you know? Mm-hmm. And we finally got one. Obviously, he's done like little things here and there where he might have popped in by surprise at a bar and played. But like there really has never been an actual show like this. Mm-hmm. And so to actually see him play live was amazing. It was. And it, it was the first time, believe it or not, um, my first time at the Stone Pony. Uh, for someone that grew up in Monmouth County, the Asbury Park area, he would think, oh, if Bruce was there, Bon Jovi was there, whoever, yeah. he would have been there. But it was the first time. And once that um, show was announced, I knew I had to be there. <laughs> and for so for someone that's 30 minutes away, you have to do it. And I brought my parents, uh, brought my friend with me, and then... The fact that I got to meet so many Bon Jovi, you know, fans like you, for example, you're from Erie, Pennsylvania. Um, Amanda, who's from Indiana, who I got to meet. Like, I couldn't like the diehards still came out there. The person behind us or behind me, at least. Came from Japan just to see Dave Bryan. Like the fan base is on believable and it was the first time i really got to see that yeah and yeah i couldn't be more proud to be honest i really couldn't well you know we we've been neglected so badly in the last couple of years you know there's barely been any bon jovi events especially a concert and so i think you know like like you just said you know there were so many diehard fans at at that show and um it was oh. nice to finally have a show where, you know, we got to see David and we got to see our friends and, and stuff. Mm-hmm. And it, it, was, it was a special day. So just to kind of back up for a second. So as you said, you know, this was at the Stone Pony in Asbury Park. This show was only announced like maybe. Uh, like July 15th, maybe. Yeah, July. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. And so, you know, like you, I, I saw it. I like, got to go. So we flew out to. um New Jersey for the day. Um, and we started, you know, the doors didn't open until 6 30. But as I any- saw you, I was in the front row with you. We made any- the the 10 people, but you know, it was it was worth it. It really was. Yeah. And just the fact to, you know, meet you, you know, one on one. Amanda, Santa, you know, yeah. it was Santa was there. Yeah, Santa was there. Um, Santa was great. But, but you know, it, but it was worth it because it was like the first time, like you said, you can see David once in a while, like at a bar pop up and sing or at a concert. This was his show. This was his moment and we weren't going to miss it. Yeah. And, you know, and I, I think that, you know, like this concert, you know, like you really get to see the talents that David has as an entertainer, as a singer, as a keyboard player, you know, with Bon Jovi, obviously, you know, he's in the spotlight, but he's not in a way. You know, but with this mm-hmm. concert, he was the spotlight. And, like, you, it makes you really appreciate all of his hard work and efforts in the band and just him as a singer and a keyboard player. You know, he was phenomenal. Yeah, and he also showed the talents that he has, you know, not just the Bon Jovi set list, but, like, he played some stuff off Memphis, which was on his own, and yeah. that was his time to shine, you yeah. know, back in 2010. And it, it was funny because I, I brought my parents with me and he's like, I hope my dad said, I hope he plays that Memphis song. And he did. And that was like the highlight, you know, for me, yeah. you know, with my dad. Um, so him also playing. Yeah. We're going to get into the set list here in a little bit. Um, I actually have the set list. I was lucky <laughs> enough. To, me too. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs>
Yeah. There we go. <laughs> yeah, we'll get to the actual show in a little bit here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, oh, so you got Matt's set list too. I did. Nice. And it was the first time I saw Matt live as well. And I was yeah. really impressed. Him, his wife, the whole band. Unbelievable. Yeah. Well, so so we started to line up. We lined up starting around one o'clock. You know, we arrived at the airport uh, in the morning. You know, went to Red Bank for a little bit because I love Jack's music shop. And mm -hmm. then we traveled to Asbury Park and, you know, walked the boardwalk a little bit. Um, and then, you know, went to the Stone Point, started lining up. And uh, shortly after, you know, other fans started to line up. And, you know, it was great because the doors didn't open till 630. So from, you know, that period, you know, we all just kind of, you, me, and many others, we just kind of hung out and talked, caught up. and Yeah, uh, I, I know you got there at one, I got there more at three, but yeah. when I was crossing, or like, you know, I was going across Stone Pony, I knew you right away. Like, I knew that was you, and I just went, Jerry, I'll see you in the field. <laughs> yep, and then, uh, yeah, so... But that was fun. And then, you know, I think around like four o'clock, you know, we, we saw David come and he went into the building. And I miss in these arms, though, when he came oh, in. That's one thing is man. I just for a bit just to get a bite to eat. But yeah. yeah, you know, we didn't even know. I mean, I guess, you know, we knew rehearsal was coming. But like all of a sudden we just started hearing the keys to in these arms. And dun, 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 dun. Yep. You know, and then all of a sudden we start hearing David say, you want to come in, you know, and, <laughs> and like, look oh, into and, and, these eyes. <laughs> and everyone's pulling out their phones and starting to record it. And we're all singing along on the street. And so like everybody <laughs> has to park are passing us by like what the fuck are these people doing? <laughs> we're all on the street and singing along to our rehearsal, you know, but it was so cool. And um you know, we heard a little snippet of, of of David doing Better Roses. And so, like, we were all like, is he really going to fucking do Better Roses? I, I can't believe he played that song. Yeah. And, and like, that was, like, the shocker. Yeah. Like I, I, like, I missed In These Arms, you know, rehearsal. I came back. I heard It's My Life. Oh, yeah, that's another one. I forgot he did yeah. that one. Yeah. It's, but, like, he went right in. Um, By the way, the first song, like, Everything Is You, him and Matt, yeah. they did that song together. I yeah. couldn't get enough of it. Like, the, like I played it on the way back home on Saturday, and then he just jumps, you know, right back into it with "Bad Name in These Arms." Yeah, obviously we we know it's a Bon Jovi fan. Um, David was a co-writer for "In These Arms," so it wasn't a surprise that he played that. Absolutely, yeah. But so the, the roses, the, the doors open at six thirty, and mm -hmm. uh, I was, you know, the so the Stone Point for anyone that hasn't never been there. It's a very small venue. And so, which makes it nice because you love those kind of venues because you're closer to your artist. And, you know, they did have a barricade up. And I, I think you have to have a barricade up, you know, when it comes to, you have to yeah. Bon Jovi, you know. Um, but to kind of start getting into the show. So, the first, so I, I didn't know who the first guy, he was really good. But the first guy, what was his name? The he guitar. Started, oh. He played for like twenty minutes. I, I forget. But he came. He came on with David at the end. But he was good. I, I wish I can forget yeah. his name. So we're both guilty on that. <laughs> and then the Mattery band came on. So for any Bon Jovi fan on here, you probably know that Mattery played with Bon Jovi in 2015. He essentially took Bobby Bandiera's place, and they did the what do you call that? Middle the East thirteen shows in Asia. They yeah, played that's the real. Yeah. And it was funny, um, you know, going back to 2015, I was like, who's this guy? Yeah. You know, uh, and then he filled in for Bobby or yeah. that or, you know, and it was surprising, like, man, he's good and he's local and yeah, he's like David's best friend. And yeah. it was, you know, a blink of an eye. And all of a sudden, eight years later or nine years later. He's here, <laughs> you know, so yeah. I thought he was great. His wife, um, also a singer in the band, I thought was unbelievable. I'm blanking on her name, but um, she's played with John, too. Like, she was one of the, the vocal singers. You know who I'm talking about. Leon, I think her name was. Was it Leon? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she but, she's a, she is so nice. Yeah, but she, yeah, she's, I, she's it's so funny. Nice. We waved at each other, and my mom and like now I have my parents with me, and they're like, 
who's that? I'm like, she's playing with Bon Jovi. I, I know her. <laughs> so it was yeah. a surprise to see her. So it, yeah. it was a good time. So Matt's uh, show was good. You know, I think they were about maybe an hour or so. Mm -hmm. And then like, I was like thinking the entire time, like they're doing their whole set. You know, cause I think they yeah. had like 15 songs. 14. At 14. And then they're going to take a break and then they're going to play with David for another, because we saw the set list on the stage. So, you know, yeah. like everyone that, you know, was at the front row, like I was, we're taking our phones and we're like angling at a special way to get a picture of the set list. You know, then we're, I'm you know, guilty of that as well. <laughs> and we're all sharing it with each other. So like we all know like what, what songs are going to get played. So I saw that David had here, I have the, what, nine, you know, let's just say 15 songs. And so and what was the, so Matt you know, that they did their set and then mm -hmm. we had a comedian come on while we were waiting for David to come on. Oh, yeah. They were busy doing cocaine, allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. That, that was a I joke. know. It was a joke. <laughs> oh, but uh, he was on that metal show. And I, I forget. Not Eddie Trunk, obviously. I don't think it was Jim Florentine. I forget the other no, guy. Jim Florentine was brought up. Um, I, I, I'm not familiar. I, it was the first time I saw that comedian or yeah. heard of that comedian. But, no, he was funny. I know he mentioned Jim Florentine, so... So I think we're him same, <laughs> yeah <laughs> but i think we were in the same um uh, you know thinking like ball field but yeah no, he was good yeah was he good. was a, yeah i, I want to know his name because i i really liked his stuff and would like to kind of follow him mm -hmm. um and then um my fun fact actually when matt was playing my mom kept asking me is that david bryan you know, in the back because he was like <laughs> near me, like in the background at the bar. And I was like, I was saying to my mom, like, where? Where? And I got on my tippy toes. I'm like, that's not David Bryan. I don't know who that is. <laughs> and turns up, uh, he pops up on stage, and my mom's like, I knew that was David Bryan. I'm like, Mom, that's not David Bryan. Like, but it was like the joke. <laughs> so David he was funny though. He he yeah. was. Yeah, Dave is like the easiest to spot out because of the hair. <laughs> which know? I know, which I was surprised my mom was making an assumption of that. I'm like, he doesn't have the perm. <laughs> <That's> exactly. <right. laughs> um, and so let's get into the David set. So obviously, we, we you know, we were watching the comedian, but we were also watching the, the entrance door where, he, you know, we knew he was going to come in. And you, you saw like a whole lot of security around the door. And so they keep peeking out. And like even the the comedian on stage was like, "Is he ready yet?" You know, because he was starting to, yeah, you know, it was time for. And so, and then all of a sudden, like all on our phones, we got the notification that David Bryan was going live on Instagram. So we knew he was coming. And um, and for people that didn't know, he live streamed the entire show, so you can go on his. Which Instagram. I did not know until after. Yeah. yeah. Um. And then so David Bryan came in. The Matter Reband came in. It took him like two minutes to come on stage. And David and Matt were talking or joking around or something mm -hmm. and then you brought up my everything is you earlier so i'll let you start off the set list with that one yeah i, I mean now i know that dave and matt you know wrote that together but it was the first time i heard that song and i couldn't you know i couldn't i i was so impressed i really was yeah. um about the song like it just sounded like bon jovi in and then David is, you know, the quarterback of, of the song and, and Matt as well. But like they do a great, you know, duet together. So I couldn't believe it. If if uh, my phone keeps blinking, it's the computer. So I apologize. If oh, you're fine. you're fine. OK. So um, but yeah, my everything was you was unbelievable. Um, I felt like Bon Jovi, like the circle because we can era. And I, I was all on board. And then all of a sudden, Dave goes, I think you know this one. And then each song he kept saying, I think you know this one. <laughs> and he just started playing the Bon Jovi hits. Like he opened yeah. up with Bad Name. Um, in these arms, obviously. Yeah. It's my let's, life. Well, let's back up for a second. So sure. I want to talk about each song here. Um, so my 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 thoughts and my opinions was like I was wondering how that would sound um as an opener and I was actually really impressed with it. Um mm -hmm. you know, wasn't too familiar with the song, so like I just kind of watched and it was just great to see David play live because I haven't seen David, you know, live since 22 tour. Um okay. so that was great. 
And then, like you said, then, you know, they go into bad name. And uh, that was like, that was when the crowd really got into it because yeah. a lot of people didn't know what song was next. And then, you know, like, I think they had, like, did like a quick key, weird keyboard intro. And yeah, then yep. all of a sudden, you know, the, the shot through the heart. And then, and then the crowd came into saying, like the whole place was just finishing that whole, uh, the whole part there. And it, I was like, oh my gosh, like this feels like a Bon Jovi show now, it you did. know? And 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 Metal Revenant got right into Bad Name, and man, it was like I'm surprised the roof didn't blow off there. You know, it, it it honestly, you know, like my dad introduced me to Bon Jovi. You know, I was a kid, and my father was there, and like we had that moment where it felt like we were at a Bon Jovi concert. Like he put his arm around me during Bad Name, and he was like. It feels right. Like I know John's not there or the band's not there, but David's there. Yeah. It, it, it we just had like that moment. Right. And, um, and I, I think for fans like you and me, like I think it felt good and, and therapeutic for us because you know, we've been just missing this band live. Yeah. We haven't had any concerts, you know, other than the the Nashville during release day. Which I still thought sounded good, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, but I just think it felt good for all. Like, I was singing with my friends that were around me and stuff. And, you know, just, yeah. it was just amazing. And then, so you mentioned John earlier. So, like, so like during this whole concert, we were, like, it was noted that there was going to be special guests. And was mm -hmm. it bad name where he was going to bring out Johnny Resnick from Google Dolls? Yeah, he had COVID. He had uh, COVID. Because he kept making COVID jokes. F COVID. <laughs> yeah. And so that would have been cool to see Johnny come out and do bad name uh, with them. But unfortunately, mm -hmm. that happened. And then let's get into the next one. This was probably the highlight of the show for me. So uh, in these arms, which, you know, oh, David, yeah. you know, it's very rare that David ever co-writes a song. Uh, but he did co-write in these arms uh, on Keep the Faith album. And. I've always wanted to see him. I don't think I've ever seen him sing it live. I've seen him do prayer live, but never in these. I've seen it, like you know, obviously online on YouTube. Right, right, but, yeah. yeah. But um, and then like just like that, and everybody was singing, you know, and you know how like at a Bon Jovi show within these arms, you know, you like you jump up and down within these arms, and you know, yeah, people did it there too, you know, and it was. It, I'm, it, I'm guilty of it. <laughs> there was just so much energy, and you know, I just love the way that David sings that song right you know i think it's uh yeah what were your thoughts i mean once i heard um once i heard you know the instrumental i was like oh wow yeah and it blew me away you know it's one thing when you hear it online you know on youtube yeah it's another thing when you're five feet away yeah and you see him performing the magic mm -hmm. absolutely goosebumps yeah all over you know head to toe and, and, and you know, um, you're, you're thinking at the show. I am literally seeing David Bryan perform in these arms. Any Bon Jovi fans dream, you know. And, and yep, I love the original version, the band's version. But I will say, I love David Bryan's version more, mm -hmm. especially because it's on Lunar Eclipse, his solo album. I was but about to say, I know he's got a lot of um, songs on the album, but he vocally for a reason. Yep. sing that song yep that's, that's his that's his baby the next one was it's my life you know um i thought that was great too you know was. everybody singing along happy i really don't have anything to say but it's my life i mean obviously i enjoyed it it was great um it was a bon jovi song that everyone knew you know but there was a lyric it's amazing thing. There was a lyric change that he did, and I have he to, did something. I know which I know where yeah, you're going. And, I, and I don't know if we've ever gone a "It's My Life" demo where the lyrics were different. So I'm wondering. I don't know if I got on because I, I tried to enjoy the show and not just record it. You know, so like right. "It's My Life." I think I got the first verse and chorus, but at some point, I think it was in the second verse. You know, with Tommy and Gene, I never backed down that part. He said something completely different. And so I want to call that. Yeah. Is that from a demo, you know, earlier on with the song, or did he just change the lyrics? I, I can't remember what he said, but I have to, you know, yeah. go back in and look. 
but yeah, cause, because I'm I, I am aware something happened, but I don't know the lyric. Yeah, you know, I'm singing along to the lyrics and stuff, and then all of a sudden he like changes something. It's that, you know. <laughs> the next one was, and I so a lot of these covers I didn't know, and so like I'm just sitting there watching and enjoying the show. But like this next one, rock and roll hoochie coo. Never heard that a day in my Never life. heard that. Yep. I'm uh, looking. Now the next one is probably another highlight for us. We got to see David Bryan sing Bed of Roses. And that was the shocker. Yeah. Because if you see, you know, if it's John, Fritchie, David, whoever, you know, solo, you expect bad name. It's my life lived on a prayer. Yeah. Bed of Roses is not in that category, but it's a yeah. beautiful song that we all love. So and, when he played that, yeah, it was. I mean, we were front row, five feet away. Like we were very lucky. Like, you know, that's I a song don't think, you don't expect. I don't think he's ever done it. I I, I can't recall any videos of him ever doing that song. I agree. And you know, and at the end, what was special was there was a fan that was. I think there she was closer too, but there was a fan that was crying in the front row. At the end, and David at the end of the show goes, "Don't worry, I'm crying too," you know, <laughs> yeah. And so that was kind of of special. Uh, and David just did phenomenal. And I and I loved the lighting that they did during that. You know, it was all like red lighting and stuff. Yep. And it really fit the mood, obviously. Um, and then they get into Wanted. You know, I'm not crazy about Wanted. I people shoot want to shoot me for it, but um. I'm just not crazy. You're not a fan of one? Like, uh, obviously, I know you love Wanted, but, like, it's not, like, your top... No, I don't love Wanted. You don't? Really? I, I, I like it. I just don't listen to it. <laughs> it's prefer... like a ham sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> I would prefer this left feels right version over the slippery version. But I do like it. And so, but why I'm saying that is because we haven't seen any, anything Bon Jovi in the last two years, I actually did enjoy seeing Wanted live. You know? Okay. It felt yeah. good. So did I. <laughs> yeah. You know, and, and and plus we got to see David sing it. So that was a change of the of the song. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, they get into Living Our Prayer. I knew prayer was going to be. Yeah, you I figured. I was surprised it was so early on, you know. And one thing that I think that for me, well, and we'll get into. So, you know, let, let me hold, well, I guess I'll just say. So like the first nine songs are pretty much all Bon Jovi songs. Yes. And the encore is six songs and there's no Bon Jovi songs in the encore. I think you he could have said prayer or bad medicine and put it in the encore. I agree with that. Yep. But yeah. Um, but you know, prayer was fun. So he, tell me if you thought the same thing. Remember he was doing a p piano intro? He was playing these days, so I'm telling yes. you. I said yeah. that to my dad. I'm like, yes. this is these days. And then all of a sudden it just Became living on a prayer, but yeah, uh, right hand to God. Yeah. I was ninety nine point nine sure. I thought I was the only one, so I'm glad yeah. that you brought it up. I yeah. thought he was playing the intro these days, yeah. and because... I was kind of excited. And all of a sudden, I hear boom, 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 whoa, 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 like. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, like I, I, I looked at the set list on this stage. I'm like, these days is it on there? So like, is he is he throwing just a uh, audible in there? Yeah, and 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 I, I, I was turning my dog, my friends like. He's can do it these days like we're gonna see if i play these days i couldn't believe it for 10 seconds <laughs> and, and i was i i got my phone out because i was i, I don't think i was gonna record prayer I, I got my phone out i'm starting to record and i'm like oh my gosh we're gonna, you know. and then I'll, like you said all of a sudden the boom 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 but my father he was like we looked at each other and we go he's playing these days and like let's back up a minute like it's a rarity that John would play that song, you know, as a band together. Richie's solo, like if we're at a Richie concert, okay, you may expect David never. In a, I would never expect these days. Yeah. So like the fact that I thought it was happening and you had the same reaction, it was like, yeah. oh my God. <laughs> I'm so glad. I, I don't think I talked about this with anybody yet. I'm so glad I was not the only one that thought that. Oh yeah, well, oh. I was I was on top of it. 100%. Yeah. No, but it was kind of cool that we did get that little snippet. Uh, but yeah. he was doing something, you know, yeah. for the diehard Bon Jovi fans what he was that doing were there. Was you that... definitely picked up on it. Yeah, <laughs> you definitely picked up on it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, so he got into Living Our Prayer, and that was very, you know, just like 
some of the other Bon Jovi songs he did, you know, that was very energetic. Um, mm-hmm. People, I mean, it, that like I said, that could have been the perfect last encore song, and, and it would have been, yeah. You know, and it kind of felt good because you know, like we're so used to seeing Prayer as the last song of a show. Mm-hmm. So I think it was kind of nice because I, I kept thinking in my head, oh, this is this the end of the show? But you know that it's not. I mean, I, yeah. <laughs> and and so obviously oh, we're getting more songs, and then we'll probably let's get to the next part. So this is probably one of my other favorite parts of the show, Bad Medicine. My favorite hit band, man. I never. Everybody was. This was probably the most energetic song that it they. Was. At night, the, with the crowd just hyped, and it—I mean, Matt or Reed Band, got to give them, man, they were hitting that song hard. Man, it was good. They played it more than once before, no yeah. doubt about it. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah and, and and David fully into it and stuff, you know, and just you know that the da 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 da, you know that key intro yep. there, you know, then you know, and the, you can tell he he was having fun, like he was yeah. jamming, like he kept like you know stepping in place, like doing his. You know, his yeah. dance on, like, he was all in. Yeah. And, and he, you can tell the band was in a very fun mood, like, high energetic, and they were crushing it. They really yeah. were. You know, the thing is, too, you know, like, like you and I, we were in the front row, so we get to see some of the things that happen in between songs and the lights go out and stuff. And I remember, like, a lot of in between songs, David would go, you know, like, just touch <laughs> his breath for a second, yeah. you know, and, you know, wiping his face and trying to cool down for a minute. And then it gets back into the next one. But I, I, he gave it his all every single, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so Bad Mass was probably the biggest highlight for me. I just loved how energetic it was for everybody, you know. And I it mean, was. And, and you'd look around the entire van, everybody is singing along. Even the security guards. The, <laughs> in his intro, yep. every, everyone is just happy, you know. That's what Bon Jovi does to you. Exactly, so you didn't recognize that. <laughs> and so they do the fake leaving. Um, you know, and, and, and which we funny. knew was he—he he yeah. wasn't done. <laughs> They're all just standing off to the side of the stage. They didn't even leave the stage. And David comes back and makes a joke. Oh, you thought we were leaving? Well, we're not. You know, or, <laughs> you know. And then obviously a highlight for you and and for me was seeing uh, for a lot of people the diehards. Memphis lives in me. You know, which people that- don't. That is, uh, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Oh, no, no, no. But my dad, like, said something to me um, before the show. I hope he plays this song. And I was like, I'm not that familiar with it. Like, I know Memphis lives in me, but, like, I, like, I know it's David, but I don't know the lyrics or, or, you know, big on it. The fact that he played it and that made my father's night is something I'll never forget. And yeah. it was the first time I got to hear it, like, you know, lyric to lyric. And it's a great yeah. song. <laughs> it I, really is. <laughs> it, and I want to add, I forget the guy. He was so nice. I met him after the show. The, the trumpet player. He played with Oh, Dave. yeah. He was yeah. He was good. It yeah, felt the, like Lawrence Clemens was, was yeah. in the room, you know, where it all started at the Stone Pony. Yep. Um, and then they got into... so. A lot of these encore songs, I I, I didn't know. A long train, break on through, good. Couldn't tell you. <laughs> they're good songs. I enjoyed watching it, but like, you feel bad because you're in front of you don't know the lyrics. Keyboard yeah. player of your favorite band, and you're not knowing some of these songs. You know these covers, um, but you see, you just kind of watch it. Um, but then they get get by with the help of my friends. I've always wanted to see because the band Bon Jovi. That's a beautiful that. version. You know, like keep the faith and even with Bon Jovi in 1992, they did that at that concert. So that was cool to see David sing that song. Um, mm-hmm. And then they did the fake leaving again. I, what right? Did they leave the stage? Again? It was right after get by, and it's funny because Amanda, who I was next to, um, Amanda Murray, by the way, great person. Want to give a shout out to her. She like pulled my left arm, and she said, "Don't." go yeah. <laughs> which i know the drill also yeah because you, you know when an encore is gonna happen yeah. so i knew but i went back to my parents i went back to matt and i said we're not leaving he's gonna come back yeah and to behold he came back <laughs> and that's i think when he ended with hey jude which everyone knows that song 
Yeah. And like I said, when you watch it online, like on YouTube, you know, everyone knows na 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 na. And yeah. when you're in it five feet away, holy moly, it yeah. was goosebumps. Right. And and I kind of when I saw the set list earlier, I kind of wondered how is Hey Jude gonna work as a final song? And then when it happened during the show, okay, yeah. I can like you said, the you can see it. You know, with the David and crowd participation, and then obviously that was the end of the show. They did their bows and uh left, you know, but it was a really cool, cool show. Um yeah, you know, I think what, it was maybe two hours worth. I would say two hours, but like you gotta remember, uh Matt O'Ree's band played 14 songs. So yeah, and then you add up the numbers, you know. David played nine, six, 15 songs. So yeah. we got a 29 song set list. And then you add the people that opened up before that. Like we had 32, maybe 33 yeah. songs. You know, the show's from like seven to 1130. And, you know, and yeah. then we kind of hung out for a little bit, you know. And I forgot to mention this earlier. Um, we also got to see Mark Weiss, you know, who is a famous rock photographer, you know, and mm -hmm. took so many photos of the band in the 80s and 90s. He was there with his Bon Jovi display. And I've, you know, um, we all got to see like the big pictures of the band that he had there. So that was kind of cool. And he was also filming and photo photographing the show. Yeah. Um, and then who was the other special guest I was going to mention? I didn't like know the name. I didn't I know any of the special name. guests that came on the stage um, during the show. Like, like the guy, I think it was good break on through. I didn't know who that guy was. Did you? No. Yeah. <laughs> so don't feel yeah. bad. <laughs> no disrespect. I just didn't know who yeah. he was. But um, yeah, you know, but like I said, to kind of conclude, it was just it was so fun to have a Bon Jovi event, you know, related event. And you know, this is to celebrate 50 years of the Stone Pony, which you know, where we know John and David both have a lot of history in their early years at, you know. Yeah. So, so one thing that honestly, like like I'm 30 minutes away from, like, I grew up 30 minutes away from Asbury Park. Yeah. But, like, the fact I knew about this concert, I told my family, we're going. No ifs, ands, or buts. And I got to meet people, or, like, see you again, obviously. Or actually meet you physically for the first time. <laughs> um, Amanda from Indiana. The people behind me from Japan. Like, this wasn't just a Saturday night at you know, on the boardwalk at the Jersey Shore, like the Bon Jovi fans really came out. Yeah. And, um, you know, there's a lot of people that I met and I'm very grateful for. Um, because it doesn't make me look like I'm the crazy fan. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's so there's so many friends that you know I knew and that you knew and stuff. And so yeah, yeah. Know, just because, you know, like I said, we had to wait a few hours before we got into the venue. So it was nice to kind of just hang out with friends and, you know. Rain or shine. Exactly. Yeah, we got <laughs> it was boring at one point. I had to go in and buy a hat eventually because my hair got all, you know, messed up and stuff. So I had to buy a, a hat. But, um, yeah. Anyway, buddy, thank you for taking the time to come. Always a pleasure. I'm going to end the recording, but don't hang up. And, mm. uh, I appreciate you. It was it was great to finally meet. You know, I, I know I've had you on the podcast before, but it was great to finally have you. Absolutely, I, I agree. Meet you again, or to meet you in person. So, I agree. That was right, thank you.